this has been a fun off season where I don't have to get up early in the morning and, and get ready. So physically, I'm retired. Physically retired? Physically, yes. How hard was it mentally to retire from the game? Ah, it wasn't. You know, I, I, people have asked me that question, and it's just something that I've known. I just, it just felt right. The time was right for me, and, and mentally, I, I feel great about it. You're only 40 years old. Thank you. Say that again. Only. Right? <laughs> uh, only when 40. When years. you're an athlete. 40 when, is a new 20, by the thank way. Thank you. Because when you're an athlete, they say you're old at 30. So <laughs> thank right. you. So do you feel like, in a way, you've been preparing for this moment your whole life? This moment where you're actually now going to take the money that you made and invest it and grow it? Yeah. Well, you know, for me, I think uh, you know people just make an assumption that uh, you know you retire and you just jump into the business world, but there's. You know, a lot of things that I've learned along the way, whether it be involved with marketing deals, endorsement deals, um, investments, paying attention to that, there's things that you learn. I mean, through my foundation, there's a lot of things in business that I've learned. So it's not like I'm just jumping into it. I'm just, uh, mm -hmm. now I'm just more involved. What's the biggest thing you've learned so far? Oh, in business, patience. You know, I'm coming from a career where it's instant gratification or failure. Um, business it takes a little time but I've also learned what I don't know I'm always good at what I don't know so I try to learn from people that are much smarter than me have you turned to any any billionaires or entrepreneurs or CEOs for advice of course of course yeah like I said I like to surround myself with people that I can learn from and, and I've learned quite a bit from from a lot of the people that I've met over the like last who? years Inja Nui the CEO of Pepsi, I've gotten close to her over the years. Hmm. And she brought me out to Davos a couple years ago, and, and uh, she really thrusted me into the business scene and made me extremely uncomfortable. So I've, I've learned quite a bit from her. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's someone that's come to mind. Michael Jordan's like a big brother to me. I mm -hmm. mean, he's someone that has, done, has some similarities in terms of playing in the sports world and then um, going into team ownership, which one day I'd like to do. So I learned a lot from his, him as well. How close are you to making a decision on that? Oh, no, 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 this is something that's not, I don't know enough about it to jump into team ownership. Like I said, well, my biggest fear in life is being unprepared, so I make sure that I'm fully prepared before I would do something like that. So, uh, no, I have time for that. So 12 months from now, we won't see Derek Jeter, team owner? You have some money for me? I think I might need to get some from you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> If you were to own a team, would it be a baseball team, or could you look at somewhere else? No, I mean, I, I, baseball is what I know. I, like I said, I, I don't like to be unprepared, and I don't know enough about the other sports to, to own a team. Um, you know, I like to call the shots, so therefore I like to know what I'm doing. Um, so now I'll stick with what I know. That is, of course, Yankees legend Derek Jeter and founding publisher of the Players Tribune. And by the way, uh, we got a comment from PepsiCo CEO uh, Indra Nui. She responded to comments by Jeter in that interview. She said, quote, Derek Jeter is a joy to work with. The same qualities that made Derek one of the greatest on-field leaders of our generation will make him successful in business. I learned a lot from Derek's leadership of the Yankees and all of us at PepsiCo look forward to his next act. So 